Hi, Kevin Henry, the Group Editorial Director for Advanced Star Dental Products Report and our family of dental magazines. And I'm on a Google Hangout today with my friend Angela Guanzini. Hey, Angela, how are you? Hey, Kevin, I'm great. Thank you. Good. Uh, Angela, you know, you and I have uh, done one of these hangouts in the past, but I want to make sure everybody knows about Ninja Dentistry. So, would you just take a minute before we get started and kind of explain what that is? Absolutely. So, Ninja Dentistry uh, currently is just an empowerment, uh, a movement to empower dental assistants to take the initiative in their practice. Um, to you know, turn suction into production is my tagline. So what are you doing in your practice to generate revenue, to decrease overhead, and to really be that strong team member that we are? And let's talk a little bit about how dental assistants get to that point. What is it, in your opinion, that dental assistants can really do to empower themselves within the practice? Oh my goodness, there are so many things that we can do now. I mean, I think 15 years ago when I went to school, really not, I mean, some of this stuff was around, but it just, it wasn't taught to me in a business aspect. And I think that that's what I'd like to share with dental assistants is that there are so many opportunities um, for them to take digital dentistry and bring it into their practice to help elevate them in their career. So things from like Invisalign, being able to place the buttons and do the interproximal reduction, that's generating revenue in the practice. Um, doing CAD CAM, in-office milling, designing, uh, your x-rays, your 2D and 3D x-rays. I mean, x-rays are a huge producer in the practice. And then having the courage of, and I kind of call it our inferiority complex, so turn that inferiority into superiority. Go to your doctor, propose an action plan, and say, hey, you know what, I'm interested in doing more, and your doctor is going to be ecstatic about this assistant taking the initiative to say, hey, you know what, if you grant me this opportunity for this educational experience, I'm then going to become a you know producer in the practice. One thing that I've always believed is that dental assistants should have a, a business plan and really know how they fit into the business of the dental practice. Can you talk a little bit about your feelings on that and maybe some steps that the dental assistants could take to, to actually get to that point? Yes. So, you know, I think a lot of it came from I was a an FSC for a very short lived time, and that's a field sales consultant for Henry Schein. Um, but I took career development courses with them and finding out that you know in dentistry yes we're you know do, providing clinical care and there are patients um, but we do have to also realize that we're running a business and as dental assistants currently you know with our suction in hand that suction doesn't actually generate revenue and so you have to think you know outside of the box and go yes you know you are assisting the doctor but that suction isn't producing um, it's the dental instruments that are producing, so the hygiene scaling, the doctors cutting teeth. So think in your mind, what is it that you could do to produce? You know, how can you generate revenue for the practice and still be that person that's giving quality care to your patients? So, you know, my kind of action plan in the beginning was um, it was the very first doctor that I worked with. Um, I went to him and I asked for a raise, <laughs> and he said, you know, Angela, I can't. You know, Mer or you deserve it merit wise you know you're an excellent assistant but you know we have a salary cap that generally amongst practices and if assistants don't know this ask your doctor what percentage of of our overhead is is staff um, salaries and so he shared with me if you were to take one PA a day that would pay for your raise and he's the one that planted the seed so think think like that oh if I took a PA on this emergency patient or if I took a PA on this tooth prior to us you know, cutting it for maybe a, a crown, that's generating revenue. Pans, uh, CBCT, so cone beam data, you know, th those kind of things. And then after you've got that going and, and you just propose that to your doctor and show them that you're business savvy, um, then other opportunities come into play. You know, the doctor, if we can offer all of our patients digital and Invisalign and all those things, um, the doctor's cutting teeth what he or she went to school for and now the assistants are generating revenue. So, you know, that's what I would recommend doing. One of the things that, that I see whenever I, I speak to dental assistants around the country, and you do the same thing, is that dental assistants don't often network. They don't often talk to each other. And so there's this whole sharing of information that one dental assistant may have a great mindset and know exactly what to do, and the dental assistant down the street is kind of lost and, and doesn't understand. What are some tips that you've got for maybe dental assistants getting together and sharing their knowledge, networking, you know, things like that? 
Wow, yeah, you know, that's something uh, I run into frequently. Um, you know, Facebook is always a great place to be. Um, I really like, you know, reach out to me on, at ninjadentistry.com, um, click on Become a Ninja, and then we can start our own um, form. That's actually something that somebody asked me to do. Hey, could you start a Facebook group so that assistants can communicate back and forth and share kind of their experiences um, and what they're doing to generate revenue in the practice? So I think that that would probably be a great idea, but definitely start um, start with me. I would love to be you know your mentor and and just work with with work with assistants because I go to enough practices where the assistants are. Um, maybe kind of feeling stuck or they're in that situation where they just don't have that inner confidence to go speak to their doctor about, you know, they might leave to go to hygiene school or move on to dental school and really dental assistant is not a stepping stone. It's a career and, and they can do so much more um, to, to just stay where they're at uh, if the doctor and them work together. I kind of like to call it like the doctor is the golfer and the assistant's the caddy, you know, like together they're the best team or a pilot and a co-pilot. So, I would say reach up to me at ninjadentistry.com. I'd, I'd love to uh, communicate. That's awesome, and I, I love the golf analogy. It's a, it's a great way to look at it, uh, and I, I hope that uh, you know if it, if you're a dentist and watching this, that uh, you truly realize the the value that your assistant brings to the practice, uh, and and that you you truly treat uh, him or her with that mutual respect. Uh, Angela, any last thoughts that you want to share with uh, with our viewers right now about uh, the the assistant and and what uh, he or she could do to really uh, rise to the cream of the crop in the practice? You know, I'm just going to piggyback off of, uh, in closing, what you said, is that if you are a dentist watching this, um, that that is how I became a ninja. I mean, that is where this came from. Um, I, a dentist saw in me the value that I didn't see in myself. And through you showing your assistant that you believe in them and that you trust them, I mean, you're taking time to mentor them and give them these educational opportunities, you will, you just... It's, it's invaluable. You, you will not imagine, um, because as an assistant, I, I pride myself in being a mind reader. I know what my doctor wants before he or she wants it. And the assistant just wants to do well. So, you know, reach out to that assistant, give them a pat on the back, and give them those opportunities, and, and you, will, you will have a happy day every day. And Angela, we got to close. i got to ask you just to wheel back there for a minute and make sure people see the message that you've got on your shirt there. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So keep calm and let the dentist handle it. It's a great rule of thumb. I'm telling you, there's some awesome assistants out there. And, and again, I just want to emphasize one thing that you said about how the, this is a tremendous career. It's not just a stepping stone toward, toward something else. So, Angela, thank you so much for your time. I always enjoy our chats. Me too, Kevin. Thank you so much. Enjoy the weather. Absolutely. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.